What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Hi, my Cherry Blossoms. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're hearing my voice and seeing my hands and you're interested in videos about money, how to make it and save it, boo, business, how to start your business and behind the scenes things from my business, and motivation to get you up and moving every day to get stuff done, then join the family Join the team by hitting that subscribe button and becoming an official Cherry Blossom. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up because it is free and it doesn't cost a thing. Okay, Cherry Blossoms. So today I am here cashed up in my daughter Myla's binder. And I'm going to do something just slightly different in this video. Uh, usually when I cash stuff, any envelope, any binder, I do not update my trackers. But today I actually pulled all the trackers from Myla's binder and I wipe them clean and I will be starting over with all of my trackers because I was running out of space and I didn't want to add another tracker so I just thought hey why not just wipe them clean and start over so today you will see me adding trackers and putting them in and so on for it um if you're interested in anything in this video check the description box down below and it will be a link to my etsy shop life of cherry where you could find all of these items um the thing i love about trackers is you ever had a moment where you're like okay what did i spend that money on where did that money go or sometimes legit i would look inside of an envelope and i'm like wait a minute how do I have $5 here? I, I'd be confused. I'm not going to lie. But using trackers, it allows me to do exactly that. Track my spending. It allows me to stay up to date and know where money is coming from and where money is going. So I will be updating and adding these trackers back into my list categories as I do the video. So let's get started, Chevy Blossoms. The first category that I'm going to stuff is my list spending envelope and I always give her five singles so we're going to count out five singles one two three four five and then we're going to add it to however much she has left inside of here which is four dollars so this should be nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yes oh what happened to this dollar look like somebody took a little bite out of it all right, so Myla now has $9 in her spending category. So I'm going to come over here and grab a tracker. Let me move the binder over. And I'm just going to label it. I'm using a permanent marker. You can use a dry erase marker or a permanent marker. I usually use a dry erase marker, but I'm using a permanent marker today just to show you that when you do purchase the trackers from my shop, it is versatile. You can use either or and it will come clean. If you're having trouble cleaning your tracker, then simply just use some alcohol on a paper towel and it will wipe off with ease. So I'm going to put this category as spending. And the date, I'm just going to put six and then I'll add the date later. The amount that I added was $5. And now she has a total of $9. And the description, I'm going to put deposit. Because I just put money into her envelope. So this is how the tracker looks. And I'm just going to do that as I go along and stuff every single category. So let's put this tracker in the back. And then let's move on. The next category is fun. We currently have, how much do we have? $15 in fun. Myla still has a whole month of school left. Out here in New York, school does not end until I believe June 28th or something. Like basically in July is when school is ending. And I'm like, I never remembered school being that long. Like I remember going to school in the month of June, but I think, I feel like school used to end like June 13th, June 14th, like around that time. Not all the way two days before we hit July, but to each his own, I guess maybe it's changing now. And is the school year has been messy. If you have children or you know someone with children, then I think we all can agree on that to a certain extent that it has been kind of crazy. But yeah, she goes to school to the end of the year. 
I mean to the end of the year. She goes to school until the end of the month. So in the meantime, I do want to try to bulk this up. So we do have money to do things throughout the summer. So today, Fun will be getting $20. And now Fun has $35 in it. And then I'm going to grab a tracker and my marker. We're going to label this category fun. And we had $15 before. No, we added $20. And now we have $35. And I did a deposit. I'm going to be honest, updating trackers... It can become tedious, like, oh, I forgot to update it. Oh, I pulled this out. But it is definitely a lifesaver, and it definitely helps me to manage my money better. Okay, the next category is school. In school, I will be adding $20. School has a good amount of money. I'm just going to keep adding money to this. So when it is time for back-to-school shopping and stuff, I can just pull the money straight from school and get her whatever she may need for back to school. So school is going to be getting $20. And now I have a total of 20, 40, 60, 65, $70 in school, which is a good amount to be starting out with, even though, you know, we still in this school year, it hasn't ended yet. So I'm gonna get a new tracker and I'm going to label this school. And the amount that I put in today was 20 and the balance is, did I count $75 just now? I lost, I lost my train of thought. Let me see. Not my train of thought. I lost the amount that I counted. Let me recount this. I think it was 75, was it? 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. It's 70, not 75. Okay. So let me just write 70 here. and add this tracker to the back of this category. The next category after school is clothes and clothes will be getting, I have a paper here, let me see how much is clothes getting. Clothes will be getting $25 today. So I already have 50 in there. Excuse the background noise, y'all know, your girl is from New York so it's always some noise in the background. But clothing is getting $25 today. Get a five, boo. All right, so now clothing has $50, $75 in it. And let me update this tracker. Oopsie, get in there. And we're going to label this one clothes. And the amount that I added was $25. Now clothes has $75 and I did a deposit. I put some money in. All right. So I'm going to add this tracker to the back. The next category is dance. The cool thing about dance is I actually pay for dance for the whole summer. So I don't have to worry about technically if I wanted to take a break from stuffing this category until September, I can do that because dance is paid up until, you know, it is time for the four classes to start. But what I'm going to do so I can get ahead and stay ahead is I will continue to stuff this dance category. And then when it is time for the four classes to start, I will be ahead of the game and I can pay for, you know, if I want to pay for three months in advance or if I want to do monthly payments like I've been doing and just pull the money from here, however I choose to do it, it will work out because I will have the money saved here to do it. And also, Myla's growing. She's getting bigger. So next year or in the fall when she goes back to dance class, she might need to get a bigger size like leotard and things of that nature. So I just want to be prepared and make sure I have the money saved up for this. So today dance, we'll be getting $30. And I have a couple singles in here. I usually put $40 in here, 
but because like I said I have a little bit of time I'm just gonna decrease the amount by a little bit and then try to increase the amount in fun by a little bit to balance it out so we have more money for fun but I'm still saving for dance dance is $76 a month and I usually save $80 and I usually put the $80 right back in my bank account but what I started doing is just pulling out the $76 and then the $4 I've been leaving inside of here so eventually this $4 and this $4 it will add up and it will be enough to cover maybe if she needs a new pair of stockings or she needs new dance shoes or part of her tuition or something of that nature so dance now has a total of 20 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 dollars is now in dance. So let me put this in here and just grab a tracker and update dance. Dance now has 38 dollars and I added 30 dollars and it was a deposit. All right, so once I put this tracker in here, the last, oh, get in. All right. The last category is not getting stuff. This is my daughter's birthday fun, and I did a celebration challenge, which I'm so happy I completed it in the month of May, but I did a celebration challenge to fund my daughter's birthday fun. So right now she has, the challenge was for $500, but what I've been doing, now that the challenge is complete, any extra little money I get here, like say for instance, I don't know, like my dad will give Myla $10. I'll be like, okay, $5 you can spend and $5 we're going to add to the birthday fund. If let's say I get extra money from whatever, then I'll just take some and put it in here. So now it's just me adding whatever because I hit my $500 mark. I will be vlogging Myla's birthday. If you are interested in seeing like behind the scenes things from me, the life part of Life of Cherry, then be sure to join the memberships because that is where it goes down at. But that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining me as I cashed up my daughter's binder. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to become an official Cherry Blossom by hitting that subscribe button. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, Blossoms.